Police are looking for a woman who stole a man's wallet that he left behind at a Publix, but it's what's inside that stolen wallet that has the man so emotional. CBS 4's Marian Martinez is live in the newsroom with the story. Marianne. Well, Erica, you're about to see surveillance video of the woman who picks up the wallet that has been left behind by the veteran. She never returns it. But what makes it so unbelievable is that the store had just made an announcement about a lost wallet moments before she found it. Surveillance video from a Publix in the hammocks shows a woman finding and then paying with a stolen wallet in hand. The wallet belongs to David Shoup. The 69-year-old Vietnam veteran misplaced it in the produce section. He says it has something priceless inside. But the most important thing was a small little angel pen. It's nothing of a lot of value. It was my grandmother's. And when she was dying, she put it in my hand. And she knew I was going to Vietnam, and she said, carry this with you, and it'll keep you safe. But the wallet carried other valuables, too. I went over to the bank, and I got out $3,000. I was going to send to my daughter in North Carolina. She's eight months pregnant, and she doesn't have a checking account. When Shoup arrived at the Publix to wire the money to his daughter, he says the line was long, and he started picking up items for a roast he was going to make. So I laid my Bill fold down, right beside the onions, opened the bag, put two onions in, tied it, turned around, put it in the cart, and then I freaked out because I didn't see the wallet in my hand. Shoup alerted the store about what he'd lost. The surveillance video shows a woman actually holding the wallet as the announcement is being made over the store's intercom. Police say she made no attempt to return it. In fact, after she's done shopping, you can see her standing at the checkout lane with a stolen item in hand. Tonight, Shoup says all he wants is the angel pin that saw him through his days in Vietnam. It looked over me and kept me safe. I do know that. And it brought me home. I would just ask that the person please have a little heart and return that. Police say if the woman is so inclined to return that angel pin, she can always mail it back to the Publix uh, with David Shoup's name on it. That way he can get it back. If the police find her first, she is facing grand theft charges. Anyone with information is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. In the newsroom, Marianne Martinez, CBS 4 News. Marianne